House of Devour! <laughs> this exclusive line of perfume, pink gold and white gold, was created by uh, a British lady called Dawn Boyle. And it's exclusive to us only in America and Harrods, Knightsbridge, London. And we have the exclusive on this. It's a very unusual scent. It's two scents, pink gold, it's Turkish roses, and amber. It's floral and it's just so, so beautiful. You only need just like a really small amount, um, but it's such an unusual smell. And then this one, the white gold, has uh, hyacinth and lemon. And again, it's a very, very different smell. It's worn by princesses of Europe, Queen Noor, Duchess of York, uh, Naomi Campbell, and Boy George. So we're very honored to have this line of uh, perfume in here. And it's also a hair, hair serum too, which is beautiful. You can put that on your hair and you can also use it uh, as, a, as a perfume too. So we're very happy to have this line that's doing really, really well. Thank you, Dawn. Well, I'm very inspired by a lot of sort of industrial pieces mixed with historical. Um, I love the simplicity of hinges and, and spikes. And then this is just a really easy, simple piece. And then this piece I love too. They're just very simple pieces, but they're really statement pieces. So this is brass filigree and it has has a handle on it so it kind of it's elegant but it has a sort of an S&M kind of feel to it but it still looks really statementy and really classy and then the other one it's the same brass base and then it has a it has a hinge with, with a couple of spikes on so I really like these are my go-to pieces if I'm going out I'll just throw this on really quickly and it just dresses up dresses up anything basically so I love those two pieces and then um, this is a fantastic piece. You've got, to, you've got to be a little bit more outrageous to wear this piece, but it's fantastic on. And again, it has the same. It has the same sort of S and M feel. It has the hinges and spikes, but it's a really, really great statement choker. And again, you know, put put a little black dress on or a little black jumpsuit, and you're you're good to go. And then this piece is, this is 1920s sort of deco inspired, sort of cries the building. This is a beautiful piece. This is Shirovsky jet crystal and brass chains. And it's just a really, really lovely piece. It moves, moves really well. And it sits, it basically sits between the boobs and it sits really nicely. I, I love the piece. It's almost like a, a, a tie, wearing a tie. And again, a little black dress, you put this on and you're good to go. And then these are really, um, these are another sort of go-to piece of mine. These little, um, well, they're little to me, but maybe not to other people. Um, little bracelets, they have little razor blades in between with little spikes. It's sort of, you know, edginess mixed with, with elegance. That's what I love. I was very, and my sister also, Emma, we were very much inspired by a British designer in the 70s. Um, she had a uh, store in London, uh, Kensington High Street, called Bieber. And it was all black and gold. And so as a little girl, I used to go in there and shop and was just so inspired and, and so intrigued by the layout and the interior design of Bieber. We wanted to kind of have that feel in the store, although nobody knows who Bieber is, possibly people do over here, but she was hugely popular and everything in the store was black and gold. It was very sort of deco 1920s. So we wanted to kind of have that theme, but with a little, little bit more sort of 21st century thrown in. And uh, we just wanted to make it really clean, very classy. Um, we did the floors black and gold as well. We had fun doing the floors. All of us pitched in and uh, threw some gold paint around and a few stencils and voila, this is what we have. So that's you in that article. What was that for? Yeah, it was for a Beverly Hills Lifestyle magazine and it just featured, I was like one of eight designers in LA and they just did a little feature and a little write-up on me about 
my collections and inspiration and everything. Another very popular piece that people love is are these pieces here. They're called True Blood, named after the TV show. And it's a resin horn and it has, well, these two are, are, are different. This has a snake and some crystals and this has some pearls. So these have been worn many times. CeeLo Green's worn this piece. Uh, it's a unisex piece as well, so it looks great on men and women. So yeah, I love that. I love that piece. It's a very chunky piece, so people get kind of frightened by it because of the size of it. But once they put it on, it just it just dresses up any any outfit. Hi guys. Um, well, I come from an English town from the 15th century. My parents own a house which belonged to um, the House of Hatfields, which Queen Elizabeth the first reside when she became queen. So I think my, 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 where I got brought up is where I get my inspiration from. I mix vintage and my, my outfits have got like a Victorian King Henry look about them. Um, I take garments and, and I revamp them. Um, my inspiration is 18th century meets punk of lords and ladies and countesses of long ago. So I'm starting this new one here where I'm doing the sleeves on it, where I'm doing the ruffles, bringing it out studying it. I don't know what else I'm doing to it until I actually get fabric together and start bringing things, elements together. But I can show you a few pieces that I'm working on over here. These are my little Valero jackets that I'm bringing out and they're backless. And when you put them on, they're a piece of art. Everything, everything I do is one of a kind and custom made. So I still haven't finished it. I've still got some things to do. This is another one I'm working on. I think you can see the shape of it. But it's going to be like Victorian punk. Um, I'm going to bring all the sleeves out in Swarovski. It's going to have all leopard, um, what do you call it, frills around it. Something like that. Anyway, um, here's another one of my Valero jackets. Which is, up oh, got caught. Which has got very caught. Which is going to be, goes across the shoulders, if you can see on each side. So anyway, well, thanks for calling me and uh, I mean, coming to visit me and come back soon, okay, to the House of Val. I'm Ricky Palomino and I'm the designer for the line Marcelino. This is the line. Um, it's a pretty good color scheme. Um, I really love these um, sweater fleeces. Long sleeve, they're super cuddly. Um, they got large scarves on them, so you can really like play with them really kind of dramatic so when you move they like really sway and I just love the look of like you know the fitted with the loose and they're super just super in ordinary which I love like you'll never find this cut anywhere else no one else has that cut um, especially with these like crazy cool cardigans very flowy this is mohair so it's super comfortable um, it's not like fake fabric so it's like it'll let your your body breathe you know it'll let the cool breeze come in um, it'll also keep you warm so super super unorthodox too it's just all over the place it's got a hood super crazy tentacles to wrap and play with I love that it lets you like kind of peekaboo and, and see what you're actually wearing underneath so it's just a little accent and um i also like you know these long sleeve shirts these are unisex for men and women um again super light material lets your body breathe keeps it warm keeps you cool nice seam in the back and um that's kind of just a little sneak peek into the Marcelino brand, so come and check us out. House of Devour! <laughs>